Hi everybody. Welcome to my little kind of reading nook. It's just off the living room in between the kitchen. It was originally supposed to be the dining room and you couldn't barely get a table here so we turned the family room into the dining room and and just made this a kind of little nook. It actually went a little bit further but not much and not a good dining room. But anyway, what I want to show you is this is the orchid I potted uh, on the last video and I was a little afraid that it was going to drop its flowers because I had cut a lot of other roots off the center of the plant. It was very compact with uh, sphagnum moss and it couldn't get any it could barely absorb water in that center portion, let alone air. So quite often that's where you do run into trouble. Even though I, as soon as I got home, I drop potted and I pulled the moss away from the outside. It didn't help the part that was just stuck in the middle. So uh, I cleaned it all off and I cut off a lot of roots. But luckily, as I was mentioning, it had a lot of air roots. It had three beautiful air roots, and the roots that were laying on the surface of the pot were still healthy and green. And, and I hoped that uh, that was enough to keep the plant alive during a stressful thing like going. Potting is the worst when you're going from one uh, potting media to definitely different other media and uh, so I went from sphagnum moss to bark essentially all bark and uh, once you're in all bark and the next time you have to repot which probably won't be till maybe two years maybe more um, then you take a little bit of this bark that is in the pot and you put it in the new pot because just the little microorganisms that have been uh, in this pot are transferred to the other pot and it makes your plant feel at home. So it won't be stressful once you're in bark and you keep going to bark. It's just getting to that point. So um, I wanted to show you why this plant is so healthy. There it is. So, I only, I haven't watered it at all since, since I um, potted it. I have not watered it. So you can see that these flowers are showing no signs of stress. They're, uh, they're all, actually they look better than they did before I potted them. Even these ones down here, they look really good. And uh, all I've been doing every morning is taking my little misting bottle and see those roots there? Those are the ones I missed. And there's little air roots under the leaves. And I make sure I get them too. And every morning I missed. And this was my handy little bottle that, uh, that was for orchid fertilizer. And I like it because it's small, it, it's uh, easy to use, it has a nice fine mist, so you don't miss the flowers. And uh, I, it's in the kitchen where I am most of the time <laughs> lately. And uh, it gets the humidity from the sink, cooking on the stove, and you're there breathing. They love company. So um, every morning, and then when I go to make lunch, every day, two, three times a day, I am misting the leaves and there. And one reason I do like pots with lots of air holes is because you can mist in those holes. Now, it's not like soaking your plant or watering your plant, but those air roots know there's moisture out there somewhere and they'll grow. And that's how you, uh, they get nice strong healthy roots. If you'd see me unpot some of the ones I've had longer, you'll see they have long roots because they're growing out for the moisture. And that's how it's done. 
So, I just wanted to show you that. And it can be done. I know there's, I have done it many times, but sometimes if there's not, so when you're picking that plant out and you're not, you're, you're not accustomed to picking them, it's not something you do, look for a plant that has healthy leaves and maybe some aerial roots and the surface roots that are showing are probably the only ones you're going to see even if you lift the pot out. There are some green ones. You know you have something you can work with. Because if there's no aerial roots or they've been nipping them off like some places do, um, it's going to be a little harder if you have to cut a lot of roots off. So I just want to take a minute. I've been canning uh, up some relish. And I wanted to take a minute just to share that with you. And I have a couple other short videos that will be following soon. Thanks. See you again. <laughs>